Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to the Lovely Lab. All right, guys, so we are a few days away from New Year's, and I am starting on a few projects. None for myself. Oh, I do have one lined up for myself, and it's I've got this digital kit that I received from Victoria Designs. You know, I purchased a few of her kits, and as long as you're part of their news, you know, if you sign up to receive their newsletter uh, newsletters, every once in a while she'll throw us a, a, a freebie. You know, so um, she sent out a free kit, and so I it, and it's dragonfly themed, and so I'm I'm debating whether or not I want to create it for myself for the new year because dragonflies are symbolic of change and metamorphosis. I thought that that was butterflies and cocoons, but nevertheless, I'm getting off track here. Um, and or if I should make it for one of my siblings because we call her dragonfly for reasons that don't even need to be discussed here on the channel. Anyways, um, so as I was preparing to uh, get started on one of my projects today, I realized that uh, when I went to go pull my coffee dye pages, I'm low. I'm low. I've probably got about uh, 15 or 20 left. And considering that each one of my journals typically has anywhere between four to eight actual coffee dyed sheets in it, um, papers in it, um, two more, two to three more. Uh, and then I'll also use them in other projects, but two more projects and I'm down. And because we're on winter break, I am not trying to utilize that time that I am, you know, that I could be used just straight crafting. I'm not trying to use any of my winter break for, for that, you know, creating supplies to craft with. I honestly um, do that in the morning after my husband leaves and right before my, uh, Josh starts class, I'll while the oven is still warm from whatever breakfast I've cooked, I will use the leftover coffee and pull some sheets, maybe some crap, scrap paper. And that's when I usually do my coffee dyed pages. But um, I'm not doing that this week. So with that being said, this is something that I've been putting off for quite some time, which is scanning in um, my coffee dyed pages, the ones that I've actually coffee dyed, and scanning them in so that I could use to print on the opposite sides of um, digital kits that I have. Um, you know, when you... Sometimes you'll get a d digital kit and it has like amazing stuff on the, you know, on for one side. And then they'll have background prints that you don't want to use that on the back. You know, you don't mind. You want to use that to decorate with. So anyways, sometimes I just want the coffee dyed or, you know, something simple on the back. So this is what I've come up with. And what I did was I went on ahead and scanned it in scanned in my my pages and then um in photoshop i went ahead and um cleaned up some of them not too much you know so you still get some of the darkened edges um and some of the grunginess if you will if you can see that there you know uh so this one when i coffee dye i use um one cookie sheet, a larger cookie sheet, and a round pizza pan that I um, that has the holes in it, and that's where I get this effect. I like the polka dots personally. Um, okay, so that's that one. Then on the opposite side of the original from that what is this, and I tried to preserve as much of the blemishes that didn't take away from the page. Here's a grungier sheet. And then I also had to just play around with the con uh, the contrast and the saturation because uh, when you duplicate anything, a duplicate of a duplicate is never as, as good as the original. So this is cleaned up just a little bit, but I kept some of the where the coffee grains were on there and baked right into it on this one as well. This is a darker version of the one I just showed you. This is just a, uh, a light, let me see. It may look blurry, it's not, it's just textured. So it's a little wavy, the paper was a little bit wavy. Same with this one. 
it looks blurry, but it's not. It's just a very faint coloration and tones. Okay. And then this one, the pages was a little bit more wavy. Mm -hmm. So we have 10 sheets, 10 pages. This one is where a little bit of the coffee didn't get on it, but it was perfectly fine. I love how marbly it appears. I wonder if my other lamp would lend its way to more light. I'm not sure how bright it is in here. I didn't want it to be too bright, overpowering it. Okay, and then this one is where I just splashed some coffee onto it and baked the sheet as it is on the cookie sheet. So you can see a little bit of the, you know, cute sheet. And then this one, again, that marbling. So that's the 10 sheets. And then we have the bonus sheet, which is a doily sheet. And right now, this is available in my Etsy shop. The link is down below in the description box. And you don't need a coupon right now, but from now until January 9th, this kit, this kit only, is on sale for 50% off. So while it's already reasonably priced, if you're watching this video, then you can take advantage of that wonderfully discounted price for my lovelies here in the lovely lab. All right. And so I am curious to find out what you guys have on your craft agendas for the start of the new year. Are you guys um, creating any journals? Have you started any New Year's resolutions? Are you just going to try and wrap up some items that you didn't finish last year? That's I have actually this envelope full of scraps that I'm going to challenge myself to um, do some that and, and, and then this here. I want to challenge myself to completely get rid of between now and January 1st. So I'll probably be working like a madman. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Probably do a bunch of collages and or maybe make some covers out of them just to get them out of my way. And then uh, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know what comes of it. So anyway, stay tuned um, until we're back here together again on YouTube. Y'all remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, check in on your neighbors, your elderly, and stay encouraged, stay blessed, creative, and crafty. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Luckies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.